Hello again, this is Don Warner from Autodesk Inventor Product Support. The small tip regarding internal cavity volume. And sometimes, or in some cases, we're asked, how is it possible to obtain an internal volume of a cavity? And it's a simple part made up of some extrusions, a shell, and some features here, and fillets. So the idea is to obtain an internal cavity volume. So one of the ways you can do it is attack it with a multi-body um, solid. Uh, and at the end of this, I simply have a sketch drawn here. And with that sketch, you simply can extrude it. And the key would be to tell it to be a new solid. And in this case, I'm gonna turn the direction to next. And that's going to go ahead and find the next surface that encompasses the sketch. And I'll say OK, but the key again is to turn on make this a new solid. Even though I make the extrusion 4 here, you'll notice in the solid bodies at the top, you now have 2. Solid 1. Solid 2. So if I decide turn this display of solid one off, there is your internal cavity. And if you were to go to the um, properties of the part file, and you were to assign a physical mass to it, you can now see the, the total calculation of the whole part but if you were to choose the down arrow, now you can take it off. I'm going to select solid one. And you can either click outside of this or hit a return on your keyboard. And now that will show you the solid one. And that was the outside cavity. Now I want to see what the solid two is. And you can see that cavity. So just a small little trick on how to create an internal cavity. One of the things that you may get tripped up on, I'll go ahead and just cancel this and I'll close this part. I'll go ahead and open one. It has a hole in it. So as you can see, you have a hole through the part. So there's my sketch. I'll go to extrude it. This time it's going to react a little differently. So I'm going to say new solid. This time I'm going to say to next. And in this process here, I can't flip the arrow in. It's trying to find a surface that completely encompasses the sketch. The problem is you have a hole here. So what I ended up doing for this piece is using some of the patching tools. So I'm going to move the end of part marker down. You'll see now there's a boundary patch. It's kind of hard to see, but there's now a boundary patch on that hole. Kind of see the surfaces in there. Even with the surface in place, if I were to do the extrusion now, it still fails because it's not a solid, it's not a plug. So again, if I were to come up, extrude, new solid, next, again, I can't flip that arrow in. It doesn't like it. So what I ended up doing was using a thicken command on the patch, kind of acting as a plug. And now that you've put a solid body around that, sort of sealed it up, you do the extrusion now, new solid, go to next, it flips in. So it's a little trick on how you can obtain an internal volume. Think about how you can patch open surfaces. Uh, but I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching the video.